So are you having fun now? Yes. Yeah, we're having a really good time. Uh, we're you know about a month into the tour. It's been it's really great. We're having a really good time. And I know at one point you said you were uh, hoping for 200 shows a year. Yeah. You on pace for that? Um, we're close. I think right now we're on pace for like 150, which you know I'd be pretty happy with too. Um, Especially this year has been still it's 150 shows, but that's not you know travel days. There's a, there's a whole bunch of extra ones too. So it's just been a lot of you know being on the road, but it's fun. And you've been on the road for how many years now? Uh, I guess I've been touring. You know, it started like six years ago almost. So um, things are starting. It's getting better and better though. You know, I mean, adding the band was really important to me. You know, and, and that's it's exciting. And I think the songs, you know, get get more exciting, and, and the show to get, you know, because when I go to a show, I want to be able to dance and, and have a good time and sing along, and those are all the aspects that we're really trying hard to incorporate into the show. You're, you're glad the uh, solo gig has passed you. Do you yeah. think you'll go back to that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think you know, hopefully, I can get to the point in the career, you know, like Ben Folds did it, or. Um, Melissa Etheridge, I know, did a really good tour of that, where it's sort of stripped down. It's just, you know, back to basics, just me playing. And, you know, but you got to really have the crowds excited for the songs. And, right, at this point, it's nice to be able to play the songs and get people excited and, and jumpy. And then, and then later, you can strip it back down. Well, it kind of started to strip back down. Right, Rock right. Rock and Roll, when did you write that one? Rock and Roll was 2001. So it's it's got to be right around this time of year, too. I wrote it. Uh, I was doing a summer in, in New York, and I, I was doing like a ton of open mics, and I just I wrote it. It was actually funny because I I was just doing as many open mics as I could, and this one guy had this Sunday slot in a bar that he would do, and uh, I convinced him to let me do a half hour in there. So it was like a Sunday at like 2 p.m. Nobody was there at all, and uh, I like wrote the song outside, and then. I just, like, had the song. I didn't have anything to record it with, so I got on stage and just played it for about 15 minutes in a row, just to like kind of like really drill it into my head or whatever, um, with probably like one person listening or something like that. And what was the motivation <laughs> for it? The song? Yeah. Uh, I was underage at the time, living in New York, and kind of feeling shut out from the the world of bars and everything like that. And um, I don't know. It was sort of just a fictional idea, I think, of what it must be like in there and why I don't want to be in there anyway and I don't know. And so that's been on all three of your LPs. Yeah, I kind of felt like I wanted to keep recording until I got it right and it sort of always felt like this one feels to me like I can finally stop and recording it. When, when does that, because you've, you've done a ton of songs that you know, mm -hmm. you'll play on the road for you know a month or so and then they just kind of go away. Yeah. And you've done you know a slew of those. When, yeah, I saw there's the, the whole... Point? When's the point that they make it on to the or, or permanent when they collection? make it on and then when they go away? Um, usually, it's, that's how I can kind of really test the song out is, to me, the main thing I'm always looking for is, do, do I get sick of it? You know, because it's sort of the only really gauge I have for if the song is good or not. You know, if I write it and by the end of the day I'm already sick of it, you know, that's a bad sign. Uh, if I still want to hear it a month later, if I, or if sometimes, like Lisa, you know, is one of the new ones where I, I thought the song was okay and then I started playing it live and, I realized I really enjoyed it. You know, I really enjoyed singing it, and, and um, so that was kind of cool. And that, you know, so that's made it into the set more and stuff. I mean, right now I'd like to play more live stuff, but you know, we're still making new fans, so I, I have to be playing the songs that can actually purchase now and everything. <laughs> and how many thousand times have you played rock and roll? You know, I would like to figure that one out. Rock and roll has been played a lot. You know, if you count, especially these days now, we're doing you know radio performances earlier in the day. So you know, sometimes I get to play it two or three times a day. So, I don't know, it's been a ton, that's for sure. And then... <laughs> so when you're up there playing that, are you having a good time with that? Or are you thinking about, oh, tomorrow I'm gonna do my laundry, <laughs> you know, or I gotta email somebody, you know? No, the good news is I still have a good time playing it, you know? I mean, honestly, there's, there's other old songs that I've taken out of the set that I was a little tired of or didn't feel like represented me, but rock and roll, you know, it still feels good when we can play a show at the end. And it's been nice playing the electric recently, but it feels good to, you know, every song that we play in the set, I make sure that it's a song I really feel passionate about, you know, so I can get that across. That's cool. Yeah.